Scientists around the world have for years been sounding the alarm on the fast-changing climate and its effects to our world, our shared and only home, the Earth. Erratic weather and rainfall patterns, deadly floods, drought, ever-rising temperatures, rising sea levels, and the emergence diseases such as malaria in areas that never experienced such has been witnessed worldwide. Africa is at a critical point on the climate change agenda, whilst it needs to develop Modernization to Western civilization brings the aspect of changing lifestyles that have a direct impact on the environment and climate at large. I think we have to find the happy medium. They are not mutually exclusive. That is the exciting news. You don't have to choose to develop or to protect your environment. You can do both. You can choose a low carbon path to development. Being the most vulnerable people, Greenbelt Movement has directly engaged with women groups across Kenya, giving them skills in adapting to climate change and at the same time becoming natural resource managers. And we look at women as uh, the people or the group that can really help in change because once you empower the women and we empower them to be able to make decisions, then we will be able to make the impact that is required and the change that is, um, that is long lasting. For a while now, Irene Wadirago has been happy with her surroundings. Full of energy, she moves around her small piece of land on the fringes of Mount Kenya. <laughs> North of Nakuru, on the slopes of the Abadea Ranges, farmers go through the process of turning their hand-drawn farm maps into digitally calibrated maps. And what we do with the communities is that we are able to work with them in their farms. And we, are, we were able to draw uh, those particular land use plans with them, such that uh, it is that particular farmer who now explains exactly what they want to utilize uh, the land for. They are the ones that normally show us where they want to do uh, the wood roads, where they want to do agroforestry, where they want to do their cabbages, where they want to do fodder cropping. So when that data is collected, we have a well-established GIS uh, lab, and we have our trained GIS uh, or some well trained GIS staff who are able now to look at that data and to actually analyze it and come up with a digital map. <laughs> Just northwest of the Abadeas in the semi-arid region of Kenya, life seems to be at a standstill in this mainly pastoralist community. Lying on the edges of the fast creeping deserts of the north, Samburu is on the front line of high rate of desertification. For pastoralists changing their normal practices and embracing climate mitigation programs such as permaculture, which ensures that farmers are able to produce a lot in a small area, minimize post-harvest losses and carry out proper food storage, was key for Greenbelt movement activities in dealing with the effects of climate change. The introduction of indigenous crops that are drought resistant provided for a successful outcome. They developed a plan of how they will be able to farm together and also they were able to replicate in on their farms and they are able to, currently all of them, about 35 of them, they are able to farm in their, uh, their own homes. <laughs> The success of any project is dependent on how sustainable it is. For the Songoroi Women's Group, mothers have passed their knowledge to their daughters who now run and implement the actions of Greenbelt Movement. The Songoroi women's efforts are now being implemented in surrounding schools. 
the pupils learn about climate change, the importance of trees and environment in their surroundings. We have been trying to plant them, but not these spices, the other spices, but they are not doing well. Every time we try, they fail. But this time, we, have, we are lucky. The green belt uh, came here, they provided us with some trees, and in fact, the trees are doing well, you can see them. We realize that if we don't work with the children from this area, it will be very hard for them to take up the campaign because the campaign must be taken by the kids as they grow up. For Green Belt Movement, positive and meaningful impact on climate change mitigation will only make sense when more commitments are made by parties meeting at the Conference of Parties to support adaptation initiatives right at the grassroots. The Green Climate Fund needs to be boosted to reach the vulnerable communities especially in Africa and the small islands. It's an exciting time to be at the Green Belt Movement. Uh, we are at an important time in the history of our organization, having transitioned from an incredibly strong leader. But I cannot be prouder of the team of Green Belters who are continuing the incredible work that Professor Wangai Mathai started. What is incredible is that our partners are with us and stick with us because the work is so strong, the work is sound, and there's no other organization better prepared to address the complexity of climate issues and environmental issues and the resultant conflict if those two are threatened than an organization like the Green Belt Movement. For the Green Belt Movement, we call upon everybody to really continue supporting us, working with us, and we can tell you that the impact we are making in the lives of the communities is really not a one-day event. It's something that is continuous and we are up to the task and we want to thank everybody and to say that um, the legacy of Professor Wangari Madai lives on. Mm -hmm.